at Cedar Glen in Julian, California. And during the school year, I live in Brevard, North Carolina. And so I thought that I would take some time today to show you around my home. I live in Transylvania County, which has 250 waterfalls. And so we're gonna check some of those out today. Uh, the first one that we have is Looking Glass Falls. Uh, I get easily confused between Looking Glass Falls and Looking Glass Rock because they use the same name for two different places. But uh, I think this is a lot cooler than the rock because the rock doesn't move. Um, the waterfall is about 60 feet high, and in the winter it'll all freeze over, so you can get uh, a lot closer. Like right now, the water is hitting me from up here, and I'm a good distance away, but in the winter when it freezes over, you can kind of get closer and walk on the snow and ice, and that's pretty neat. So as you can see behind me, here's Sliding Rock Falls. Uh, this is a really popular destination for camps that are in North Carolina. A lot of camps will come here, do the Sliding Rock, and then there's an ice cream place on the way out of then they'll all get ice cream, which that sounds pretty fun to me. Um, and all the ice cream flavors at that ice cream shop are named after local camps, so that's also, I think, super cool. Um, so it's about 60 feet at, in length. You can't really see it all from here. And it is designated a waterfall, even though it's just like a really gradual slide. Uh, there's 11,000 gallons of water that will pass over that rock every minute. And then when you're landing, it's like a six to seven foot pool. So you can touch the bottom, but it's not gonna hurt you, most likely. Um, and in the summer, there are lifeguards there too to really make sure that no one gets hurt. It'll, it'll get really crowded with tourists and summer camps and that sort of thing. The water's pretty cold right now, so I'm not gonna go do it, but you can imagine. This is probably the biggest waterfall that we're gonna see today. It's kind of unclear where it starts, where it ends, but it's massive, as you can see. Um, it goes by a lot of different names on the internet, but I think locals mostly just call it Daniel's Ridge Falls. Um, it's a longer hike in than you think it's going to be, let me tell you that. But it's mostly a gravel road, so it's very accessible. Great place to check out. And it's just, it's huge! That's so cool! <laughs> this is Kathy's Creek Falls. It's a much more treacherous hike in. I wish I wasn't wearing chacos, but we can't change the past. It's worth it though for an 80 foot fall. Um, it's less touristy than some of the other waterfalls I've shown you and has yet to be kayaked. So don't try to paddle this one at home, kids. Thanks for joining me on my waterfall tour. See you at camp.